you know, welcome to my channel still under project evaluation techniques we are going to look at the techniques that ignore the time value of money and we shall start with the payback period technique payback period refers to the number of years required to recover the original investment cost in the project when someone puts money in the in the business they already say that maybe after two to three years I'll be able to recover my money from the project and that period of three years is the payback period payback period is based on cash flows of an investment and payback period can be determined for both uniform and non-uniform cash flows and we are going to start with the payback period for uniform cash flows and the formula for payback period for uniform cash flows is initial outlay out of annual cash inflows. Let's have an example about payback period for uniform cash flows. Uh, saying consider a project with a total initial outlay of 400 million and uniform cash inflows of 60 million per year for five years. What is the payback period? The formula for payback period for uniform cash flows is initial outlay out of uniform cash inflows. And from our question, we had initial outlay of 400 million and uniform cash inflows of 60 million. And the life of the project is five years. So the next thing we are going to do is to substitute in our formula, which is initial outlay divided by uniform cash inflows. So it's 400 million divided by 60 million and the payback period is 6.7 years but the life of the project is 5 years. Therefore we are going to reject the project since the payback period exceeds the life of the project. That is all about payback period for uniform cash flows. Then let's look at payback period for non-uniform cash flows. Cash flows that are uneven, that are not the same. And the formula is year before the year of recovery plus amount yet to be recovered divided by cash flows in the recovery year times 12 months. That's the formula for payback period for non-uniform or uneven cash flows. Let's have an example about payback period for non-uniform cash flows. Suppose the initial outlay of an investment is 350 million Uganda shillings and the cash flows to be generated for five years are as follows. Period. In year one, we have cash flows of 50 million. In year two, the cash flows of 90 million. In year three, cash flows of 130 million. In year 4, the cash flows of 240 million, and in year 5, the cash flows of 50 million. Required, they want us to determine the payback period. As we can see, the cash flows from year 1 to the last year are different, so it's uneven on a uniform cash flows. In order for us to determine the payback period, we shall draw a table. It will have three columns. The first column will be for period from zero years to the last year from zero one two three four five and then cash flows in year zero under cash flows we shall have the cost of the investment which will which was three hundred fifty million and then in year one we had cash flows of fifty million in year two cash flows of ninety million in year three we had cash flows of 130 million in year four cash flows of 240m and in the last year the cash flows were 450m then we shall have another column for accumulated cash flows we shall accumulate cash flows until when we get the money that we invested in back which is 350 million until when we get it back and that will be the payback period in year one we shall get back cash flows of 50 million 
then in year two we shall get back cash flows of 90 million and when we add we shall be having 140 million yeah then in year three we shall recover cash flows of 130 million when we add we we get 270 million that is recovered then in year four we shall recover 240 million but when we add we get excess our aim is to recover the 350 million but in year four we would have recovered we would have recovered 510 million which is excess so we shall not put it there therefore we shall stop recording on year three which is 270 million because in year four we are getting excess yeah so we shall use the formula for calculating for payback period for an even cash flows in order for us to get the correct answer we shall use the formula payback period equals to year before the year of recovery plus amount yet to be recovered divided by cash flows in the recovery year times 12 months then we are going to substitute in so the year before the year of recovery is three where we had the 270m and plus amount yet to be recovered we get amount yet to be recovered by subtracting 350m minus what we had recovered which was 270m then out of cash flows in the recovery year. in the recovery year we have cash flows of 240m then times 12 months and the payback period is 3 plus when you use a calculator we get 4 months yeah so payback period is 3 years and 4 months and here we can advise we can advise them to accept the project since the payback period is less than the life of the project the payback period is three years and four months and the life of the project is five years so they can accept the project then let's look at the decision rule for payback period when the payback period gotten is greater than the desired payback period then we reject the project but when the payback period is less than the management is desired payback period then we accept the project but when it's indifferent when the payback period desired is equal to the payback period that is gotten then you can either accept or reject the project and that is the decision rule for payback period then let's look at the merits or the advantages of the payback period technique first it's a simple technique to use and understand there is no logic in payback period then it uses cash flow information which is the relevant information in achieving the objective of the firm then the disadvantages it ignores the time value of money meaning it does not consider risks and uncertainty then cash inflows are simply added together as if the investor is indifferent to the timing of the cash inflows here we do not consider other things we assume that all other factors constant and we just add the cash inflows then it ignores cash flows after payback period after getting back the money that we invested we stop the account thanks for watching that was all about the payback period as a project evaluation technique yeah don't forget to subscribe like comment share with your friends and watch my next video to be about arr